here at the White City this afternoon. Beautiful weather prevailing in Sydney and the crowd at White City, probably the biggest we've had at a tennis tournament for a great number of years. It's wonderful to see such a big crowd having turned out today, but who could blame them coming to see what's going to be a wonderful match in particular between Labor and Rosewell and under perfect conditions as we have. It's warm and sunny in Sydney, a light northeasterly breeze blowing, the centre court, although wet at the beginning of the week, has dried out in the early stages of the week and with competition on it from Wednesday, is playing hard and true. Now, Alf Chave has rejoined us. A few comments, Alf, about what we could expect in this final. Well, everybody calls Ken Roswell the old man of tennis because he's 35 and suggestions that he got, gets very tired. But I'd like to discount that completely because the age of most of these great players at the present time is around the 29 to 35 mark. And after all, Rod Laver is 31. And uh, Roswell has kept himself in perfect physical condition. He's not an ounce overweight. He's got a very keen tennis brain. He knows exactly when to make his run. These two have played each other quite a lot, but getting back to condition, those of you who saw the New South Wales <coughs> Championships here in 1968 will recall that Tony Roach did beat Ken Rosewell, but it took him five sets. And on the fourth set, Rosewell was down 1-5 and fought back to win it. So I can't see any old legs down there as far as Kenny Roswell is concerned. Had he given up the game and tried to come back, that is different. But he has continued to play. That is why one of the reasons that Pancho Gonzalez, an older old man, approaching 42, can still play five sets because he's never given up the game. This sounds like a plug, uh, Bert, for... Uh, tennis for a lifetime from 8 to 80. I wouldn't like to forecast the result of this match. Don't forget that both of these players are exceptionally good on fast services. But although Ken Rosewell has won so many major <coughs> titles in a long career which started about 20 years ago on the same court, he has never won the Wimbledon singles. He was beaten in the 1954 final by Drobny after a long match, and he was beaten in the 1956 uh, by Lou Hode. Ken turned professional in 1956, and it took him some years to wear down Gonzalez as the top man, but he held the position of top pro until about 18 months after it was taken from him by the red-headed Queenslander, Rod Laver. Ken was born in Sydney, a product of the Sydney Hardcourt Junior Development Scheme, a program which has produced many of Australia's greatest players over the last 20 years. He's only five foot seven. Rod Laver is only about five foot eight and a half to five foot nine. Ken Rose, New South Wales, to Rod Laver, Queensland. The best of five advantage set. Mr. Rosewell won the toss and was elected to serve. Line be ready. Players ready. Play. We welcome viewers to South Australia to the start of the men's singles championship. Rosewell versus Laver. Hold. South Australian viewers join viewers throughout New South Wales, Queensland, Victoria and Tasmania to this direct telecast from the White City in Sydney. Just in. 15 all. Oh. 
out. Out. Thirty, fifteen. Fault. Thirty or forty thirty. In the earlier match, Billie Jean King of the United States defeated Margaret Court of Australia two sets to one to win the women's championship singles final. The scores were 6-2, 4-6, 6-3. The match taking one hour and 28 minutes, Kingly winning two sets to one. Well, I think we could describe that first game of the men's singles final as dignified and sedate. Neither player went for too much. It was noticeable that Rosewell, as he does a lot nowadays, at any stage of the match, frequently rallies from the baseline when he's serving before going in. He varies his tactics a great deal, and he in particular has learnt that racing to the net all the time Rod may Levin not served. necessarily be the correct tactics. Foul. Out. Just out. Lug 15. Fifteen or take a point. Fault. Thirty fifteen. Let out game labor one game more in the first set <coughs> Roswell serving from the southern end of the white city court this northeasterly breeze blowing this afternoon blowing across the court from the left to the right as we look down on it Out. <coughs> Fifteen now. Fault.
Out. Advantage receiver. Point here to Labour for a break of service. Advantage server. Games are one all, deuce, first set. Out. Out. Advantage server. Two games to one, first set. Well, Lava's timing is not perfect yet. You can probably hear it occasionally on the sound effects that when he hits the ball off the sweet spot, when it hits towards the top of the bottom of the racket, there is a far duller sound than the sweet click when the ball hits right in the centre. He is not a fast starter, Lava, but on that occasion he did have a chance of breaking through when Lava coming to the net, when uh, Roswell coming to the net was caught near his feet and he made a couple of rather slack volleys, slack at least for Roswell. Lava to serve. Ball. Out. Fifteen left. Out. Thirty left. Forty left. Oh. 
好。好。Double fault. First double fault of the match. Fourteen, fifteen. Out. Game. Labor. Two games all. In the first set. Out. Fifteen love. Out. Thirty love. Thirty fifteen. Well, beautifully wrong footing labour. Forty fifteen. Let. Yes. Just in. Forty thirty. Out. Advantage server. Games are two all in the first set. Advantage to Roseville. Bob. Advantage receiver. Game point to Labour. Advantage server. Out. Yes. Fourth deuce. Advantage server. Out. 
out, James Rosen. Rosen lead by three games to two. In the first set, this is the final of the men's singles championship. Rosal has had a great deal more trouble holding his service compared to Labour. Rosal's had three services so far. The first he won 230. And the second one he had a game point against him after the first juice, although he did lead in that game 40-15. And he won that after three juices. And now in the fifth game, he again led 40-15. But in the third in the sec third juice, another break point against him. And he just struggled out. Labour, on the other hand, has lost only two points in two services, one of which was a double right, fault. Labour serves. Ball. Love 15. Double fault. Labour second. Love thirty. Double fault. Fifteen thirty. Fifteen forty. Labour, or rather, Rosewell holds two points here for a break of service. Fault. Out. Thirty forty. Roswell still holding one game point. Out. Out. That's a break. Game Roswell. Lead by four games to two, first set. Fault. Out. Love 15. Shot. Love 30. Out, 15, 30.
Just out. Out. What a great rally. Forty thirty. Fault. First set. What a wonderful rally it was when both of the players were near the baseline. It wasn't a case of their wanting to be there. They both had so much respect for the other players passing shots that they had to stay back until they got the chance to get in. You remember the old fashioned type of tennis where the players stayed in the baseline and loved it there and refused to come to the net. Well, don't get the impression that these two players were playing that sort of tennis. They're both essentially net players, although both can play from the baseline. I do believe, though, that Roseville will have to start getting to the net more behind his service, because once Lava gets his passing shots, once Lava gets his shots really working properly, Roseville cannot afford to give away the initiative. Two balls. Fault. Fifteen love. Fault. Double foul. Labour's third double foul. Out. Double fault. Fourth double fault. Fifteen thirty. Roswell within two points of taking out the first set. Wait, please. Thirty all. Out. Forty thirty. Out, game, Labour. Rose well, lead by five games to three. Last night in his semi-final match against Roger Taylor, Rod Laver served no less than eight double faults, and faults four so far today is not good. Out. Fifteen love. Roseville leading five, three in the first set, serving for the first set. Thirty-love. 
Out. 40, love. Rosewell holding three set points. set for Rosewell, six games to three. The first set to Rosewell at 6-3 uh, took 28 minutes. announcement to the effect that the semi-final of the men's doubles which was scheduled to follow the singles match and then the men's doubles final the second semi-final between Taylor and Bowery and Newcomb and Gonzalez will be played on an outside court in order that the tournament and other commitments may be Quite, met because a lot of the players or most of the players will be leaving tonight however following this match Bolt. Or later this afternoon, we will be seeing the final of the men's doubles. 15 love. Fault. Out. 30, love. Halt. Out. Forty left. Out. Forty fifteen. Labour lead, one game to love, second set. Repeating the result of the women's singles championship played earlier this afternoon, Billie Jean King of the United States defeated Margaret Court of Australia, two sets to one, 6-3, 4-6, 6-3, the match taking one hour and 28 minutes. I just mentioned the second semi-final of the men's doubles to be played on an outside court, Taylor Bowery versus Newcomb and Gonzalez, the winner of that match will play Ken Rosewell and Fred Stolley. So when the doubles final does come out, Fred Stolley will be the only player who will be fresh for the match. The other three will have already played this afternoon. Rosewell to serve. Fifteen love. Let's 
เล็ดฟอลต15โอ Out. Thirty, fifteen. Out. Out. Forty, fifteen. Out. Double fault. Roswell's first double fault. Forty thirty. l a v e r has served four. Roswell one. No aces as yet. Fault. Yes. Out. Advantage server. Right shot, l a b o r Yes. Advantage server. Game road. One game all, second set. Roswell having won the first six games to three in 28 minutes. Out. Fifteen love. Fault. Fifteen all. Fault. Out. 
1530. Out. Shot by Roland. 30-40. Roseville holding, game point for a 2-1 lead. Second set. Out. Out. Here. Advantage receiver. Another game point, point to Roswell. Out. Out. Yes. Just as well they. Rulaver didn't have to play the ball back. Uh, Roseball was about 12 feet out of court and his racket 20 feet out of court. <laughs> Advantage server. Out. Yes. Advantage server. Fault. Out. Yes. Roseville, the first set, 6-3, one all in the second, deuce on Labour's service.
Advantage server. Out. Use. The longest game of the match. Advantage server. Halt. Game Labour. <coughs> Labour lead by two games to one, second set. Rosa won the first set 6-3. That last game took seven minutes to play. There were seven juices. And these two players are using absolutely every inch of the court. Love 15. The first three games took 16 minutes in this set. Let. Out. Love thirty. Let. Fault. Double fault. Roseville second. Love 40. Labour holding three game points for service break and a two old in the second set. Fault. Fifteen forty. One scoreboard showing Laver leading two one in the second, and the other one showing Rosewell leading two one. But it's Laver leading two one. Labour leads three games to one. Labour to serve. Out. Out. Fifteen love. Thirty love. Fault.
Out. Just out. Thirty. Fifteen. Great play, Braswell. An ace, first of the match. Game late. I believe by four games to one, second set. Roswell having taken the first set, 6-3 which occupied 28 minutes. Well, at long last, Rod Laver's service is coming good. He ha he's only served one ace, admittedly, but his first service is going in far more frequently, and his second service, which is a very important one, is about six inches to a foot deeper and has more bite and more spin, or as they say in tennis circles, is a heavier ball. The whole of Labour's game and confidence is built around the excellence of his service. Last night against Roger Taylor, whom he defeated in four sets after losing the second one at 12-14. In the third and fourth sets, he served well and he won 6-2, 6-2. He seems to have the second set almost in hand, playing much better. Out, game, road. I believe by four games to two. Oh. 
Salt. Fifteen, none. On the line. Great tactics. Thirty fifteen. Game Layman. Labour lead, five games to two, second set. New ball. Rosa won the first set 6-3 in 28 minutes. I saw these players to play the final in Paris, the French titles, in both 1968 and 1969. In 1968, Roswell gave a supreme display of, of ball control and using the lob, he kept Labour away from the net most of the time. And he won to score something like 6-1, 6-2, But in the final of the event in Paris last year, in the centre court there is very slow, very red, described by an English journalist as looking like a rusty pan. It was Labour's turn this time, and apart from a recovery by Rosal at the dying stages of the third set, Labour was all over the Sydney player, winning in straight. That was his second leg on the way to the Grand Slam of 1969. Right, please. Alt. Love fifteen. Fault. Love, 30. Fault. Oh, shot, Labour. Love, 40. Three set points to Labour. 
five two forty love. Out, game, and second set to Labour. Six games to two. In Match stands, one set all. In 30 minutes, the second set, the first set, 28, the 30, the second 30. Quiet, please. One set all. Labour to serve the opening game of the third set. Out. 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 Thirty fifteen. Third set. Rosewell having taken the first 6-3 and Labour the second 6-2. The result of the earlier match, the women's singles final, Billie Jean King of the United States defeated Margaret Court of Australia two sets to one. 6-2 in 30 minutes, 4-6, 30 minutes and 6-3 the third set in 28 minutes. Well, Lover is definitely on top at the moment. In the last three games he has played, he has won 12 points to three, dropping only the two points of the three on Rosewall's service. Once he gets into this mood, he's very dangerous. It's typical of the way he plays a lot of his matches, a rather uncertain start. But once he gets the service working and gets in the groove, as few players in the world can live on the court with him. Quiet, please. But one thing's certain, Rosal will be fighting every inch of the way. Halt. Roswell's first ace. Game, Rose. 
One game more, third set. Both players have now served one ace each. Laver four double faults and Roswell two. Fifteen Laver's second ace. Fault. Double fault. Laver's fifth double fault. Fifteen all. Oh, great recovery. <laughs> 40, 15. No question, this is champagne tennis. That final point, Roswell threw his racket about 10 feet after that ball. He knew how hopeless it was. Well, Bert, I'm going to improve on that expression of yours of champagne of tennis. This is Napoleon Brandy, 1778. The best ever bottled. It's a long time since we've seen such sustained brilliance from these two players. Time after time, Roswell appears to be beaten. But scurrying yards outside the court, he's brought off miraculous recoveries with Laver waiting there to bang the ball into the other side. It's a, is it any wonder that the crowd here today of approximately 7,500 is, is only restraining their clapping during the rallies because they know that's the right thing to do. But as soon as the rally is finished, they really show their appreciation. Well, this telecast of the men's single semi-final of this Dunlop International has been relayed throughout New South Wales, Queensland, Victoria, Tasmania and South Australia. And we trust all our viewers are enjoying as much the tennis as the big crowd is right, here. Please. Love 15. Double fault. Love 40. Roswell's third double fault. 
Labour holding three game points here for a 3-1 lead in the third set. Game, Labour. Labour now leads by three games to one, third set. It's the fifth break of service in the whole match. Two in the first set, two in the second, and one in the third. Left. Out. Love 15. Fifteen or Fault. Double fault. Fifteen thirty. Lava six double fault. by three games to two. Roswell, the first set, 6-3. Laver, the second, 6-2. That's Laver leading 3-2 in the third. Two service breaks in this third set. Laver, Mr. Volley. It's almost historic, and it wasn't all that hard. The standard is unbelievably high. This is the type of tennis which will bring the public back. It's a perfect day in Sydney today. And in the first set, Rosa won 6-3. Laver came back at 6-2. Laver had 3-1 in this set with a break of service in the fourth game. But he dropped his own in the fifth. He still leads 3-2. And Rosewood has a chance of making it 3-all. Out. 15 left. Laver about 15 feet out of court by the time he'd finished playing that shot. Out. Out. 40 left.
Paolo. La volta. Lot 15. It's live a seventh double fault. Out. 15 all. Right on the line. 30, 15. Alt. Out. Thirty all. Out. Forty thirty. Out. Advantage receiver. Point to Rosewall for a 4 3 lead. Out. Game Rose. Rosewall lead. Four games to three. Third set. What a remarkable change. Rosewell lost his service in the fourth game of this set to Love. And then in the sixth game, he won his service to Love. And now he's broken through Labour. Labour at one stage holding 3-1 in the set. Now finds himself in the position of being down 3-4. Labour did serve one additional double fault in that period but he made a couple of careless shots or when I say careless they were difficult ones but he didn't seem to concentrate quite sufficiently but Ken Rails will only five foot seven but every inch of fighter and with the experience of so many years of top tennis he seems to be able to have a secret reservoir of good shots to be produced in the crises. Right, please. Roseville leading 4-3 in the third set. One set all. <laughs> 15 left. Out. Out. Fifteen all. Rosal lost his racket then. Had the ball gone back after he had lost the racket, of course it would have been a foul shot. The racket must be in the hand. Thirty fifteen.
Oh, great shot, Labour. 30 all. Out. Out. Forty thirty. Was Roseville lead by five games to three, third set. Roseville second ace. Fifteen all. Out. Out. Fifteen thirty. Just out. Fifteen forty. Roseville holding two set points. Out. Double foul. Another service break in this third set to Labour, to Roseville. Game. Third set to Roseville. Six games to three. Road will now lead by two sets to one. Ladies and gentlemen, the rest period not exceeding 10 minutes will be taken. For the first set, Roseville took in 28 minutes, 6-3. Labour took the second, 6-2 in 30 minutes, and Roseville the third, 6-3 in 25 minutes. So far, Roseville has served two aces and three double faults. Laver has served two aces, eight double faults. The players are back in the court, and in about one minute's time, 
the match will resume. Rose will leading two sets to one. Just to the right of our screen, the tournament referee, Mr. Cliff Sproul. Following Rod Laver across as he moves down to the southern end of the court here at White City. Still... White, please, ladies and gentlemen. Good light here, a little bit of cloud overhead. Still the light nor'easterly breeze blowing across the court from the left to the right, but conditions still ideal. On the resumption of play, Rose will to serve from the northern end. That's the end. Rose will to serve. There is the camera. Lines are ready. Play. Halt. Love 15. Out. Thirty four. Out. Thirty forty. Labour holding a point here for a break of service. leading two sets to one. Normally one would think that with the early break that Labour would scamper through this set but one must remember that in the third set he got a break for 3-1 and then did not win another game in the set. In other words his service was broken three times. It's hard to believe that Labour could be beaten in five straight games. His service has not been good though. Labour, something in his eye. He apparently has got it out in his right eye.
Actually, Lava hit that smash as he was falling over backwards. He had to bend his back so far to get at the ball. He went over so far he lost balance and down he went, but hit a beautiful placement. Out. Catching Lave on the wrong foot. Fifteen now. Ball. Fifteen four. Out. Point to Lever for another break. 30, That's the break. Fourth set. Rosewell having taken the first 6 3, Labour the second 2 6, 6 2, and Rosewell the third 6 3. Labour leading in the fourth 3 love. And early today, Billie Jean King won the Women's Singles Championship, defeating Margaret Court in three sets. Well, once again, this is Labour at his best. When he gets a spell like this, his racket becomes a magic wand. A very powerful magic wand. His ability to hit passing shots from the baseline, even against a fleet footed player like Ken Roswell, is nothing less than amazing. He does play in streaks, and I believe that these streaks concentrate with the intensity of his concentration on the match. He says that sometimes he does find difficulty in keeping his mind on the task in hand. 
Great return from Rosemary. Love 15. Reflex is a second nature. Fifteen thirty. Just out. Or was it? Advantage. Receiving. Given in, a mighty close decision. It must have just licked the line. Roswell holding a point for a service break. Three service breaks in four games in this set. Out. Love 15. Fifteen thirty. Halt. Right on the line. Roswell holding his heart. <laughs> Fifteen forty. Well, he may, Laver holding two game points for another break. Out. Hello, foul. Game, Laver. The fourth set, and that was Roseville's fourth double fault. 
half as many as Laver, who served eight. Laver leading 4 1, Roseball two sets to one. With four broken services in this set out of five service games. You will recall, of course, that wonderful half volley that Laver made from right on the baseline, which hit the baseline at this end. That was reminiscent of one of the great French players, one of the four musketeers, Henri Cochet, and he frequently used to half volley, half volley balls deliberately from near the baseline. Even he'd walk into a position two or three feet inside the baseline to play half volleys, which he did with a big swinging action, and he made them like almost lofted shots past the bowler. Labour leading, 4-1, fourth set. Out. 15, low. Out. 30, low. Out. Double fault. Laver's ninth double fault. 30, 15. Out. 40, 15. Games to one. In the men's double semi final, Newcomb and Gonzalez took the first set 6 4 against Taylor and Barry. Taylor and Barry leading 4 2 in the second set. Roswell to serve down 1 5 in the fourth set here. has saved two set points. Out. Advantage received. Another set point to Lever, leading 5-1 in the fourth set, with Rosal leading two sets to one. Oh. 
Halt! Another set point to Lever. Halt. Yes. Let Halt. Advantage seven. Out. Advantage seven. Out. Game through. Lead by five games to two, fourth set. Well, can Ken Rose will do it again? In the second, rather in the third set, he was down one three and and then ran out the set. In this set, he was even further behind, down one five. Right in the corner. Fifteen all. Just out. out. Thirty fifteen. Double foul. 
Labour's 10th double 34. fault. Set point to Labour. Yes. In the men's double semi final, Bowery and Taylor took the second set. It's one set all against Newcomb and Gonzalez. Receiver. Rosewell holding a point for a service break. Great volley. Set point to Labour. Oh. Out. Yes. It's two set points that have been saved. Five in the set. Set point again to Labour. On the line. <laughs> Out. Yes. Yet another set point to Labour. Six set points. Games to two. Match stands, two sets all. In that fourth set, 29 minutes. New ball. The first went to 28 minutes, the second 30 minutes, the third 25 minutes, and the fourth 29 minutes. And so far, Labour has served two aces and ten double faults. Rosewell, two aces, four double faults. Right, please. Opening of the fifth set, Labour to serve, uh, Rosewell to serve. Lab 15.
Well, when you've got your opponent on his knees <laughs> playing a shot, and then you've, you... Love 40. You hit it out. Quiet, please. Poor Kenny Rosewell. Halt. Service break in the opening game. Game, Labour. Labour lead, one game to love, final set. Roswell lost his service in the first game of the set before this one. I wonder how long it is since we've seen so much wonderful tennis packed into a match. There have, of course, been mistakes, but the percentage of mistakes compared to the number of winners the times that aggression has been the key note of every rally has been surprisingly small. Ken Roswell, 35. Rod Laver, 31. One wonders which has the most stamina left. I would say to guess that Laver has just those four years ahead. Love 15. On the line. Love 30. Fault. Love, 40. Fault. Out. Game Rosewell. One game all, final set. Two games to love, and this is the fifth set against the service. Love 15. In the men's double semi-final, it's one set all. Newcomb and Gonzalez the first 6-4, Taylor and Barry the second 6-3. Fifteen all. Newcomb and Gonzalez leading 2-1 in the third set. Fifteen. Wonderful tossing. Forty. Fifteen. Out. Shot labor. Forty 
just in. Deuce. One all and Deuce in the fifth set. Almost run into a trombone. Advantage server. <laughs> Paul. Two games to one, final set. Roseville took the first set, 6-3. Laver the second, 6-2. Roseville the third, 6-3. And Laver the fourth, 6-2. And it's Roseville leading two sets to one in the fifth set. Well, I don't know, but 2-1 to Roseville in the fifth. Anything can still happen. I think they're both, I correct myself, I th think they're I both just about as fresh as each other, or as tired as each other. Fifteen left. Men's double semi-final match, three all in the third set. <laughs> Not quite up. Out. Double fault. Lavers eleventh. Double fault. Thirty fifteen. He served eleven doubles. Roseville four. Two aces each. Forty fifteen. Alt. Just out. out. Forty thirty. Alt. Beautiful stop volley by Labour. Game Labour. Two games all. Fifth set. Tension here is fantastic. You can feel it all around this vast crowd at White City. Fifteen love. Thirty chalk but it was off the line. Forty. 
Test drive. Kenny Rose will give himself a clap too. Game Rose. Rose will lead by three games to two. Final set. Alfie could almost write another chapter in the story of the Roseville backhand here this afternoon. I think he could nearly write another book on tennis. These players have used every shot in the book and some they've <coughs> invented for themselves. That last shot of Roseville's would be one of the most unusual shots ever tried. A good return from Labour and then a half volley, top spin, over the net at an acute angle. I think one of uh, Roswell's ancestors must be Euclid for him to have control of so many delicate angles. This is the fifth set, and Roswell has gone to a lead of 3-2. He has the advantage in this final set of having his serve, and then Labour has to serve to try and make the score level. Two breaks of service in this set so far, the first and second games. Labour to serve. Fault. Fifteen, love. Out. Thirty love. Fault. Double fault. Thirty fifteen. Fault. Double foul. Labour's twelfth. Thirty all. Fault. Out. Break for service. 30-40. Roswell holding a point here for service break. Yes. He's watching Rod Laver then a great big sigh of relief. Out. Advantage receiver. Another point to Roseville here for a break. He's leading 3-2 in the fifth set. Out. Yes. Just out. Out. Advantage server. Out. Out. Yes. Out. 
halt. Advantage server. Labour hold service. Game Labour. Three games all, final set. In the double seven semi final. Newcomb and Gonzalez leading 5-4 in the third set. Love 15. Fifteen all. Out. Thirty fifteen. Fault. Out. Just out. Forty fifteen. <laughs> Forty thirty. Just in. Yes. Advantage receiver. Game point to Labour for a break of service. Three all in the fifth set. <laughs> that court gave it to him. Game Labour. Labour lead by four games to three. Final set. I wonder if that net cord, which jumped over Rosal's racket, will eventually affect the result. It certainly enabled Labour to break through. It could mean the difference between, between winning 5,000 American dollars and 2,500. But I don't think for a moment that the players would even be thinking about dollars at the moment. They're so keen to win, and in the case of both of them, there's a great deal of pride of performance and what a performance they have put on today. The players have been on the court, apart from the 10 minutes which they had a rest after the third set, for two and a half hours, or two hours, 29 minutes. And apart from those double faults of labor, and I think he has now served 12, it's almost impossible to fault the play, the tactics, and the technique of these two great finalists. Out. In the doubles match, the semi final. Love. It's five all in the third set in the doubles match on the outside court. Out. 
out. Thirty love. Forty fifteen. Double fall. Forty thirty. Thirteen double faults. Fault. Double fall. Fourteen. Yes. Advantage server. Advantage server. Halt. Double fault. Fifteen double faults to Rod Laver. Yes. On the outside court, Taylor and Barry have won that semi-final, 7-5 in the third set. Halt. Magnificent. Advantage server. Labour holding a point here for a 5 3 lead in the fifth set. Advantage server. <laughs> Labour offering his racket to the ball boy, suggesting he serve. <laughs> you serve for me. I've served 15 doubles. You can't do much worse. How's about that? His third ace. Yes. 
game, Leva. Leva leads by five games to three, final set. Rose will now serve to keep the match alive. Fifteen, love. Let. Fifteen all. Fifteen out forty fifteen. Forty thirty. One can just imagine Rosewell's feelings at that moment missing the volley, but he doesn't show a thing. leading 5-3 in the fifth set Deuce on Rosewell service <laughs> match point advantage receiver Three sets to two. Three six, six two. Three six, six two, six three. Thank you, linesman. Thank you, Bobois. I think this match deserves a standing ovation. And we heartily endorse that, Mr. Sproul. stage of the game he might pull it off too. It is my great pleasure to present this check to Ken Roseville as the runner-up of the men's singles. Congratulations Ken. Mr Dunshay, if I may interrupt at this moment before your final presentation, May I ask uh, for Ken Rosewall to be excused from the court. He's due to appear in the doubles very shortly. He is much in need of a rest, obviously. The 20 minutes rest will be, I think, uh, thankfully applied. Ken? Have a sleep, <laughs> Ken.
Before I make this presentation to Rod, I would like to say how much we appreciate the work of the members of the Lawn Tennis Association of New South Wales and all those who have assisted in our grand tournament, which I think has been the finest stage for many years. Now, some years ago, Rod Lavey used to really work for me and he had to do as he was told. <laughs> During the week, we were at dinner together and I instructed him that he had to win this match today. So he's still behaving himself quite well. <laughs> it is my great pleasure, Rod, to present this prize to you as the champion on the courts, the male courts, that is, uh, this afternoon. Thank you, Mr. Dunshay, and distinguished guests, and ladies and gentlemen. Well, it certainly is a, a terrific pleasure and honour to be able to accept this first prize. It, uh, I must admit that I felt a little uh, lucky there at certain stages when I, I, all I felt was that I was on a string and Ken had the piece of string and just moving me all over the court. But uh, I think he did have uh, a little misfortune at certain stages, but uh, I guess that's the way the ball bounces. And on behalf of, I think, all the players that have participated this week, uh, We'd like to congratulate the Dunlop Company on staging another tremendous uh, event here. Uh, the, uh, the spectators that have come out today especially, uh, it is very gratifying to see that tennis really is moving uh, in Australia and that the organisation on this tournament has been excellent and I think the players have really enjoyed it and I'm sure if this is on next year they'll be back. Uh, I never asked Mr. Dunshay how I, how I fared uh, as a worker, but uh, I hope he's happy with today's performance. Thank you. Rod, right, congratulations on yet another victory. I think the last time I spoke to you on these occasions was at Wimbledon when you were on the way to the Grand Slam. Did today's match give you as much thrill as Wimbledon? Oh yes, I, f I felt I played uh, as well as I've played uh, almost everywhere in the world and that's the gratifying part. I like to feel that I'm playing well and timing the ball. And you did have some trouble, with, you have had some trouble with your service right through the week. And what about today? You had uh, a number of double faults, though, Jim. Well, <laughs> Alf, it's one of those things when you're playing Kenny, you've got to be able to uh, put uh, a lot more effort into the second serve and if you miss your first serve, which I was doing continually, but uh, this is something that uh, I've known not to worry about the amount of doubles I serve. But when you're in a, in a difficult position, you've got to really get out there and uh, penetrate with the second one. You don't let it become a psychological barrier if you serve these double faults at all then? No, I, I don't feel that way, but I feel uh, it is a mistake to serve doubles. But uh, when Kenny's penetrating with the return of service that he's got. And from here you go to where? We'll be playing in South Africa uh, on the... Well, the 24th we fly off tonight, and uh, then I'm coming back and going off up to the uh, up to my hometown, to Gladstone, for about uh, 10, 10, 10 or 12 days. But you're picking up a very important person in South Africa, aren't you? Yes, my wife will be there. She'll be uh, flying down there next Saturday, so we'll meet there and come over here for a couple of weeks. And how's the brand new baby? Oh, he's great. We've uh, uh, he's about five and a half months now. Got a couple of teeth now, even. Has he got red hair? No, sandy hair, but uh, I believe he's left-handed. He? He's finally showed, him, showed his colours. <laughs> Another lefty in the family. Yeah. And uh, Wimbledon this year? I'll be playing Wimbledon. I uh, will always play Wimbledon. It's a great tournament and has all the atmosphere. And I think players uh, that do play in it, I think, uh, realise that that's the biggest tournament in the world. Prestige-wise in every way? Yes, yeah. And uh, how long will you be continue to play tennis, Rocket? Another ten years, maybe? <laughs> I'm not like Pancho Gonzalez, but I feel that a couple of years uh, 
fairly competitively, and then I'd like to lapse a little bit into a six months on and six months off base. Well, it's a sensible thing to do. Once again, Rocket, congratulations on a great win, and more than the win, what you've done for Australian tennis, you and the other players, you put it back on the map. You and Dunlop have done a tremendous job. Well, thank you, Alf. I've, I'm very pleased to have been the winner of this particular tournament, but uh, I know that participating is the main thing. Thanks. Thank you very much, Rod, and the best of luck in South Africa and overseas. Thanks, Alf. Alf Chave talking with Rod Laver, repeating the score again. For those of you that may have missed it earlier, Rod Laver defeated Ken Rosewell in five magnificent sets, 3-6, 6-2, 3-6, 6-2, 6-3. The match occupying 2 hours and 22 minutes.